Hello, and welcome to another WWE 2K22 WrestleMania 38, the most stupendous WrestleMania match simulation. Unfortunately, Madcap Moss isn't in the game, so can't accompany Happy Carbon to the ring. But we're still going to do this match all the same. And yes, I know I could download a creator wrestler, but nah. Prefer the authentic the thing. Is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy Corbin! So yes, Happy Corbin without Madcap Moss. Let's let's just imagine Drew McIntyre took out Moss backstage earlier in the night or something. Um. So, if you're here looking for my predictions for WrestleMania, you have come to the wrong place. Uh, th that's going to be over on WWE Baser, but here we're doing match simulations and having some fun with it. Let me know in the comments if you so please who you think is going to win this match. But if you want to know who I think is going to win it, that will be up on the predictions video over on WWE Baser. So, just so you know. Anyway, let's get his opponent out of here. This absolute man there he is and hasn't happy carbon and my cup more stolen angela in real life i forget how will he set his pyro off without angela Anyway, get him introduced. Let's go. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. There we go. There we go. Drew. Let's go, Drew. Um. So yeah, Happy Carbon, Drew McIntyre. They gonna have a match. Happy Garvin just stood there, like, does, chooses not to attack Drew during the entrance, probably wise. Just not wise to get into this match, honestly. But yeah. There's not going to be loads of these match simulations. Purely because I only use wrestlers that are already in the game. And I only use arenas that are already in the game, which is why we don't have a WrestleMania 38 arena for this. This is WrestleMania 37. Anyway, let's get this show on the road with a DDT. No, Happy Carbon fights out of it. Maybe worried that Drew was going to go for a future shock. But now, goes for a suplex of his own. Oh, into like the, sort of like a falcon arrow, but falling into it. Now, Happy Carbon going up to the top rope already. Misses an elbow drop. I was about to say that he doesn't go up there often. That's why. Yeah, go back to what you're good at. Throwing punches and kicks. But... Hey, Drew McIntyre is no slouch in the uh, the old fisticuffs game. Overhead belly to belly suplex by Drew McIntyre. Oh my god. Now deadlifts carving up. Sit down power bomb. Incredible strength by the Scott. Carving got a little flurry of offense in. And now Drew's in control. Uh oh. Ground and pound. Carbin doing his best to cover up, but he's not really happy for long if uh, Drew keeps punching him like that. Now look at this, the Gargano escape from Drew McIntyre. Oh my god. Busting out some moves on the biggest stage. You know, these two, these two have like been on a collision course and colliding in the ring and having brawls and stuff for months now. They're very familiar with each other, so yeah, you gotta bust out some new material if you wanna uh, catch your opponent off guard. Snake eyes, that'll always catch you off guard though. Oh, and then just lobs Corbin across the ring. Good grief. Just attacking anything that's exposed on Corbin, honestly. Like, you stick your arm out, I'll slam it into the mat. Oh, now now you took your arms in, I'll go after your head because your neck's sticking out. Like, ruthless from Drew, Drew McIntyre. But now gets a taste of his own medicine. Snake Eyes out of the uh, fireman's carry position this time, but this time by Corbin. He's now stomping away at Drew in the corner. Now Corbin electing to go up top again. What is going on here? Oh, Drew dodges the double axe handle off the top. Goes inside it. Corbin overshoots it, if anything. 
Oh, but the back elbow in the corner. Good back and forth action. I'd say Drew's had the upper hand overall, but Corbin definitely making no disgrace for himself. Oh, there's another snake eyes. And there's the DDT that Drew went for at the start of the match. Finally connects with it. Weaken Corbin a bit more and then nail the DDT in the end. Oh, now look at this. The claw going old school. And with the nerve hold. Oh, but Corbin swipes the leg. And now, again, looking to go up top. Third time's a charm. It is, in fact, Drew not able to avoid that double axe handle. Less distance to cover. Really favoured Corbin in that instance. And now, shout out to newly decorated Hall of Famer Scott Steiner with the Steiner recliner. Slash camel clutch there. Oh, and now Happy Corbin just throws Drew clean over the top rope to the outside. That's a tough landing to take. There are only thin mats on the outside there, and then it's concrete floor underneath. Corbin wanting to get Drew back in the ring and try and put him away as early as possible. Now, I think, after that move. Great decision making by Happy Corbin, honestly. There's the choke slam backbreaker. Corbin might have this here, you know. He's got Drew in a, in a spot of bother. Uh oh. Oh, there's a headbutt by Drew. Followed by a future shot DDT and now into the pin. One, two, no, Carbin kicks out. Drew, Drew's going to want to finish this match quickly as well now. Carbin wanting to capitalise on his momentum. Drew's going to want to not take many more rough shots like that. And there's a Claymore. That might well be enough. Into the pin. One, two. Oh, I thought he had him. Corbin kicks out of the Claymore at WrestleMania though and Drew is not happy. He can't believe it, but he's not going to spend too long arguing with the ref and questioning it. He's just going to go straight back on the offense. Now Corbin kicks him off though. Oh! Oh, he countered it! I was about to say end of days, but no! Drew counters the end of days into kind of an STO type situation. Now lined up another Claymore and he hits it again. Surely that's going to be enough. One, two, no! He kicks out again and now Drew's getting really frustrated and you can't blame the man. You actually cannot blame him. Two Claymore's kicked out of. Maybe this isn't Drew's night. Maybe Carvin's going to get what many would consider an upset. Especially without Madcap Moss to help. There's the end of days. He connects with it. One, two... Oh, now Drew kicks out. Maybe this match is just going to go forever. Now Corbin up to the middle rope. Oh, drops the forearm across the face. Now just face washing Drew into the canvas. Drops the elbow on the back as well. And now stamp to the back of the elbow. Again, anything that's exposed is getting attacked. Scoops Corbin up. Oh, up into the suplex. Great strength by the Scottish Warrior. Oh, lifts the leg, showing off his strength even more there. Incredible display by McIntyre. And now just stomp in the chest. There's nowhere Carbon can go with Drew having both wrists under control. And now once again, going into that Gargano escape type submission. He's liking this move. And Carbon submits. He kicked out the two Claymores. Drew needed an alternative method. And he gets one. McIntyre picks up the win by submission. Winner, Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. As the, uh, the result of the match. Let, leave a like as well if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more simulated gameplay goodness. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I will see you next time.